Hey, what's going on YouTube? Been up here in the garage now for about two hours tonight. Uh, it's Thursday night. We uh, got quite a bit done here. I wanna take, wanna show you what we've done here so far before I cover it all up with a brand new cab corner. So remember how yesterday I was talking about how I was, uh, wasn't real sure whether I was gonna use that dog leg or not. Well, this is that dog leg that I made. I put this little piece on here just as a, uh, if you look at the factory dog legs, uh, there's a little piece in there that bulbs out and that piece will actually nestle right inside of this one. Nice and easy, nice and nice. and nice. I got all my little uh, quarter inch holes for uh, butt welds in there. So what we did here tonight, there's a patch here. This is a patch. Uh, there's a patch back there, see KJ's fingers, uh, and a couple patches up here, and a new threshold, uh, I don't know what you'd call that, the uh, door rubber goes around that. So that's kind of where we're at here, I'm about to uh, stitch that cab corner in there. KJ's been busy, he's got the rad support painted and the radiator is bolted into it. Looks like he's got the upper and lower rad hoses on it, ready to go on there. Brand new radiator cap. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do here. We're going to get this bad boy put together. All right, we got the cab corner uh, stuck in place here. Let's see what this thing looks like from underneath. You guys really haven't got to see much of the underside of the cab yet, but as you can see, you can see the couple areas I welded there. You can definitely pick out the patches really well. Let's get some backlight here. There we go. So all those patches will need ground from the bottom side, which is fine. And then you can see the bottom side of the cab corner. I went a little crazy as I always do and uh, welded that area right there. Coming up the cab corner, it's all in there, all tacked in. None of the grinding's been done yet, of course, but uh, it's all in there. Around the back side, see the couple little butt welds I did and where it needs ground off coming around the corner. All right, so uh, that's what we did tonight. Was quite busy, got quite a bit done, and uh, we are, we're done for the night. Basketball game tomorrow night, and then uh, probably back out here Saturday to do the passenger side. All right, talk to y'all later.
Hey, what's going on? We've got the old Mongo man here. Uh, been at it here Saturday morning already for about an hour, hour and a half. Got uh, a little bit done here. Let's talk about what I'm doing. So this passenger side is in far better condition than the driver's side was. Uh, I'm not gonna go any further than that on this cab corner. I'm just gonna come down to there. I'm just gonna do this bottom section, but I still have to replace this bottom section of the dog leg. As you can see, this whole section would be the dog leg, so I gotta get that in place. And then over here, this section was a little worse than the passenger side. So I'm gonna have to do the sill plate and the floor of the cab. And then of course, that piece that comes across the sill plate. And what you saw me do earlier was the uh, finished up the underside of the driver's side and cut the hole in the center of the floor for the uh, for the shifter. So yeah, we're hard at, hard at it here. Uh, hopefully to get this uh, passenger side done before lunch, but it's already 11, probably 11, 15 because <coughs> KJ is home from foot, uh, basketball practice. So we're keeping at it. All right, everybody. See you soon. All right, hey guys, uh, we just ran out of Argon, so we're gonna run into town, probably get lunch real quick, and uh, pick up a bottle of Argon. We did get uh, those two in, at least they're tacked in. You can see here, see how ugly this weld is? That's what happens when you lose your shielding gas. So that'll have to be ground up and uh, put back in there, so. Yeah, looks pretty good though, other than that. All right, KJ. All right, we'll be back soon. All right, boys and girls, uh, we made it back from town. Let's get back started here, get some stuff done.
So, what was an automatic cab is now a standard cab and four wheel drive. You got the four wheel drive shifter hole in it, that's what this is. And of course, this is for the main shifter. Uh, you guys saw that's the driver's side. We did that early this morning, got it all done up. And this is the bottom of the passenger side. Still needs ground down, but other than that, it is done. See if I can do this one handed. Nope, can't do it. And this is the completed project here. You can see I only opted to replace a very little bit of that cab corner like we talked about. I'm happy with that. It didn't need the whole thing changed, so why change it, right? Uh, we got the little dog leg in there. Can't even tell that I did it, other than the weld. And then uh, coming across, we got the new threshold piece of angle in there to hold the 
door weather stripping and we got the cab floor all done up. So yeah, I think I might be done welding on the cab. Pretty happy with it. It was definitely a full day's worth of work, but we got her done. So now we gotta get the dash out of it and get the swinging pedals mounted, get everything in there cleaned, get it ready to paint. We're gonna paint the inside of the cab. I'm gonna do the cab corners and uh, probably come out to here. I think it's gonna be my line. Everything in here will be painted, everything from here in to the cab. All right, everybody. I know it's a long video. I apologize for that, but I hope you enjoyed watching us get the cab corners and all the cab stuff done. Uh, next, we'll probably come back out tomorrow, get that dash out of there, start cleaning things up, get the underside painted, and uh, move right along here. So, yep, Pat is coming along really nice. I hope all the welding is done on the cab. But that's all for now. All right, talk to y'all later.